All right, here's the latest thing I've done with the crystal um, batteries. Uh, I'd be pointless came up with the idea of why not just grow the crystal directly on the electrodes. And um, he pulled it off, and so I did a replication of it. And this is uh, a crystalline cell that was grown onto the electrodes. And what it was was uh, a solution uh, in hot water of certain chemicals. This was placed in the water, and as the solution cooled, the supersaturated solution, the crystals formed on the electrodes and formed a cell. And then, of course, there's crystals left over in this little jar here. But uh, the uh, solution was extremely simple. It was uh, borax, 20 mule team borax. It was uh, this salt substitute and then water. And this is the uh, loaded voltage uh, right now running this little uh, oscillator. And uh, it was kind of interesting. Uh, when it first got built, it was about 1.2 volts. Then during the night, it uh, dropped off just like uh, he said it would because I didn't add a second crystalline structure to that. It needs to be a polycrystalline structure with the two electrodes. So this morning, I just sprayed it with uh, a mixture of alum and distilled water and uh, used this M uh, McCormick's alum in distilled water. Then I hit, hit it with the hair dryer and dried that solution off into the other crystals and dried it and dried it and dried it and make sure it was uh, dried with the hair dryer. And that's what I ended up with under load. It's about what it was last night before it uh, totally dried out. And I don't know how long this is going to last, but what I was trying to do with this, if I could, was replicate uh, basically this uh, penny oscillator that uh, was using the same chemicals only cooked on a stove, which was um, alum and distilled water and um, I'm sorry, no distilled water. It was alum, salt substitute, borax, and just heated, and that was no water on it, and formed this crystalline battery that's been running this darn thing for a, a month. And uh, it's not dropping any voltage. It's staying around 0.9 volts. So anyway, we'll see how this works out. Um, John Bedini asked me if I had tried Rochelle salts, and I initially did try um, my homebrew Rochelle salts, which are these guys right here and it turned the uh, solution milky white so I abandoned that and just went with the uh, the borax and the salt substitute in the water and then I added the uh, alum crystals on top of these today and we'll see how that works this uh, I believe is still a galvanic thing where the water is locked up in the alum molecule alum contains a lot of water molecules in the crystalline structure and anyway this is a, a very interesting cell and what I was trying to do was get performance like what's happening here with this crazy thing um, that runs for a month and you can see the size of the uh, the elements here they're just a couple strips here and this magnesium usually deteriorates and goes to powder pretty darn quick in any kind of a moisture environment and yet it's still running this thing that's the cell under there I just put it in cardboard I took that cell there and I put it between two pieces of cardboard stapled it together and plugged it into penny and uh, it's still running away anyway that's the latest with uh, this crystalline cell um, uh, I want to use Epsom salts in the next one of these that I build and uh, that will make the crystals clearer and it'll add the second crystalline structure with the water molecule that I need. And then it'll be a polycrystalline structure. The uh, sealed one that I made, by the way, is still working. The one with the magnesium copper and most of these chemicals here. And uh, it's staying around uh, this same voltage. Um, the first one of these that I built, I think I killed it with too much heat. It was a uh, zinc coated uh, machine screw, steel machine screw and copper and uh, I think I killed it. It's down to about 0.2 volts, but this one's holding it at about the same voltage of uh, about a volt under load. So we'll see how long this crystalline cell runs. 
Uh, I'm real tempted just to hook it up to Penny because <laughs> it would look really cool just sitting there next to Penny, running Penny, and I may do that. But uh, this thing here, after you know, it's heading toward a month. That thing's been running, and it's not very bright. It only draws about three or four microamps. The way I have this set up, it's a very efficient little oscillator, but uh, it's hanging in there. I'm taking readings twice a day. Holding in about 0.9 volts. Anyway, that's the latest with the uh, IB Pointless uh, literal crystal battery. It's literally a crystal cell. Thanks for watching.